everyone. Today we are going to make um, this flower uh, to go with your vases. All right. So you'll start with a piece of paper and you will fold it over like this and we're going to cut off that end piece. You're going to make it similar to if you've ever made a snowflake then that's exactly how we're going to do it. Well very similar. We have this extra piece here, that's going to be your center of your flower. Okay, we're gonna do something with that in just a moment. Over here, we're gonna fold this up. We're gonna fold it up again. And then one more time. And then you need to make sure that where you cut, see where this folded part is? That's where you're gonna do your cut, not from this angle, because it'll, it'll mess it up. I'm going to start here. To make the flower I have there, we're going to go around like that. And then we're going to need a hole in it. So we're going to go ahead and bury just a very small edge because when you open it, it's, the hole is going to be bigger than you think. So just, just a little bit. When we open that up, you have your flower, the outside. So now look, we need to make the rest. So let's start with the stem. So we need this stem here. We're gonna make that out of paper. So what I like to do is fold it in half and then set the words on the outside. Fold it and then just roll it. And I kind of try to, even though that first one's, try to do it loosely so it kind of resembles the stem, and so it's round instead of just flat, but if it ends up a little flat, that's okay. And you should have your tape ready, and hold on, I had a helper bring everything into the room and he put that on the table instead of on this table. All right, so we're going to put that, we'll put it in three places. Make sure it stays, each end and the middle. All right, so that's your stem. Now we need to make the center of our flower. You can cut that all along this way or that way, and it'll give you a different look. I like the look where it's kind of this way. Just make sure you don't cut the whole thing off. I've done that a couple times, and if you do, you can just tape it back on. There you go. Now you're going to take this and tape it onto the end there and then just twirl it around and tape off the other end. your hole there and actually you can see it's a little too small but that's okay you want it to be too small so I'm going to cut just like three little slits that'll actually open up as I put this that's the biggest stem I've made so I'm going to again just cut it a little bit bigger but it's better to start small than big bring it all the way up set it around that area right there, bend it over, and there you have your flower. Now I do want to show you one other way uh, you can do your flower. I have this one ready for you. So this is one I already cut off the end. Um, instead of doing in the last one we did one more fold, you can do it like this. Make sure again that where the fold is is where you It'll just be a bigger cut off right end here. It'll just be a bigger flower instead of having a lot more loops. Just 
bigger. You can see just cutting that hole a little bit bigger. And so your flower can look like this one. And how you cut your flowers can change everything. So you could have it bigger. Now, if you had decided to fold this back up, if you had decided to just do them straight on each end, you open it. And that's how you can have different types of flowers. All right, and you just replace that one. You do need to make at least three flowers, three to five. You really want to stick with odd numbers to make your vase look pretty, okay? Good luck.